Hello and a very warm welcome from the Sokdiano Sporting Complex for the AFC Cup Interzone Playoff semi-final between Sokdiana of Uzbekistan and the Eastern Long Lions of Hong Kong. Just a one-legged match, this, that could potentially go to extra time and maybe even a penalty shootout. Very, very warm in Uzbekistan and an excellent crowd in, as you can see. In fact, the Sokdiana coach, Ulugbek Bakayev, imploring all the fans to get to the stadium and it looks as though they have taken him at his word there you see the conditions 36 degrees centigrade and nearly 6 p.m local time here and that is uh, nudging a hundred on the fahrenheit scale test of conditions although the eastern long lions have had about a week to try and acclimatize having made the trip across from hong kong and just to let you know that the winners of this match uh, will face the winners of a game tomorrow between Mohan Bayan of India and Kuala Lumpur City of Malaysia. And that, that will uh, be the Interzone playoff final on October the 5th. And the final itself will be on October the 22nd. The winners of that match on October 5 against the winners of the West Asia final. Well, no question that Sogdiana come in here as the favourites and pretty heavy favourites as well. If you're with us for their last match against Hujant, uh, they were imperious. 4 0 winners, it, it could have been even more, to be honest. Uh, more recently than that, uh, they defeated uh, Kozel Kom on penalties in the Uzbekistan Cup, and they are very much still in the race for the Uzbekistan Super League title as well. So, fighting on three fronts a look back Bakayev's team who's a young progressive coach he's only 43 the man in charge and uh, he's just on the left of your shot there and he he's very confident although he does respect uh, Eastern Long Lions because their form in this AFC Cup has been pretty strong as well Eastern actually just missed out on the knockout stage 12 months ago and their coach, who's Roberto Losada, Spaniard, accepts his team going here as big, big underdogs. But they do have some top-class players, including the, the centre forward Victor Bertomeo, who we'll speak about a little bit later when we show you the team lineups. But and by the way, not too many surprises in those lineups at all they come here in very good form eastern long lions they're on a nine match unbeaten run i mean you can turn around and say okay the the standard in hong kong may be not as high but despite that you could only perform uh, against the teams you line up against so i don't think they'll be an inferiority complex although expectation among these supporters of the home team is uh, pretty high, truth to tell. Couldn't have nicer conditions to spectate. The sun's just going down, even though it's very, very warm, young and old, inside the stadium. And they've seen their team carry all before them in the AFC Cup so far this season. Coach actually mentioned how much he values the support that they've had in their home game so far it is the first ever meeting between these two teams and Eastern Long Lions have an absolutely fascinating history you go back to the 80s they were managed by the man who lifted the World Cup for England Bobby Moore and you had the likes of Alan Ball playing for him they were funded at that time by a billionaire businessman named Peter Lam. They won a Hong Kong FA Cup in the 80s. They couldn't actually win the first division title, even with those superstars there. Then they had a horrible reduction in sponsorship revenue. They were forced to release their top players. They were relegated. And then in April 2016, they won the Hong Kong Premier League under the guidance of Chan Yuen Ting, 27 year old woman who in the process became the first men's professional association football team 
to win a domestic top flight championship under the management of a woman. Might get asked that in a pub quiz one day. They lost just one game that season under Chair. Things have changed a little bit since then. I mentioned Roberto Losada is the man in charge. Champions League music starts to play, which can only mean one thing. Herald the entrance of the players. Have to think from Eastern Long Lions' point of view, they need to not concede an early goal here. Saw what happened in the last match that Sogdiana played against Tuchant in this competition. They were two up inside 20 minutes and effectively uh, that was the end of the contest really. Can't afford to do the same thing. Eastern Long Lions. You can hear the crowd already starting to get involved. Eastern actually have a perfect record in this competition. They've won all their games, all their group games. Let's have a look at the uh, Sogdiana team. And the man really to watch for is uh, number 39. Well, there are two, actually. He's one of them. Number 39, Shavgat Salamov, who's very, very quick. And the other one is uh, Jasor Hazanov, number 11, who, despite the fact that he's 39 years of age, has lost none of his enthusiasm. He scored twice in the first 20 minutes of the last match. Ahmad Alali of Kuwait is the man in charge for this one. Skippers in the middle, that's uh, Kozubayev on the right. Uh, Kajikistani centre-half. And here is the Eastern Long Lions lineup. The man to watch for up front, at least. I don't know how much service he's going to get. Victor Bertomeo who is a 29-year-old Spanish striker. Arrived here a year ago, and he has three goals in his last three matches. It will be a standard 3-4-3 formation for the team from Hong Kong. Just a reminder, any five substitutes can be used, and then a sixth, potentially, if we need extra time and penalties. Ground that holds around 11,500. And it's nearly full for this AFC Cup interzone playoff semi. Three matches away, potentially, from lifting the trophy, these two teams. It's Marcos Gondry, you just got a shot off there. Spanish centre-back for Eastern Long Lions. Yip Hong Fai might be a busy man this afternoon. Just a reminder, just the one leg, it will be settled in this stadium today, even if we require an additional 30 minutes and maybe even a penalty shootout. Certainly, Sogdiana will be hoping it won't go anywhere near that far. They come in overwhelming favourites. Countdown's on. So, away we go then, underway with Sogdiana attacking the goal to our right. They're all in white, looking to make just as fast a start as they did against the uh, Hujant in the last round. Straight away, Jura Bekov with a, a neat little turn before he was dispossessed. Tell you what, if they're going to press as aggressively as that, 
Eastern. It's going to be a very tiring 90 minutes for them because it is sweltering here, even with the sun starting to go down. Very, very warm. Here's Nasriddin. Sort of back, uh, back AF, a 43 year old coach. He not long retired as a player, actually, had an 18 year playing career as a striker. Both the coaches were attackers in their playing days. I just suspect the only way that Eastern are going to get something out of this. They've got to quiet the uh, crowd down first. There's Roberto Lozada, 45 years of age. He's actually his first job as a head coach. He was assistant at Kitchi and then assistant here before he was promoted last year to head coach. Pointing on this near side is Nasridudov. He's never really had a settled run in the side. He's been here three years. Cleared away by Chung. Not very far, though. And they could all stay there for the Sofiana throw, won by Shotpost Jurabekov. It's one of the few players, actually, in the starting 11, Jurabekov, who actually came through the youth setup here at Sofiana rather than being signed from elsewhere. Hasanov will take the throw. Long throw without any apparent effort, not properly cleared. And then the shot skewed wide by Luka Chermel, the Serbian centre-half. Played his whole career in Serbia, the 27-year-old, until he arrived here last year. Comes from a, a, a genuine footballing family, his father and his older brother, older brother Philip, both professionals. It's one of the smaller goalkeepers, uh, Yip Hong Fai, he's just 5 foot 11. And needs some serious protection in front of him, you suspect. Beaten in the air there was uh, Wu Chun Ming. Not the tallest of teams, and just wonder whether Sogdiana might get some joy with set plays, free kicks and corners. Especially with a, a smallish goalkeeper who they might want to test early on. Here's Javakir Kakramanov. Actually came to the club as a right winger and it's kind of been converted into a, a number 10. Plays in the hole, there's too much on that. Goal kick. Eastern have actually averaged two goals a game, more than two goals a game, actually, in all competitions so far this season, including in the AFC Cup. But this is, on paper at least, by far their stiffest test to date. So, well, one in the air by Bertomeo. They've got to get support around Victor Bertomeo, Eastern, if they're going to have any joy. He is quick. He's a very, very good finisher, too. How many chances he'll have, another matter. Nice little flick on by Nuronov. Which nearly found a teammate. Here's Jurabekov. Taken on by Nesridinov. He was well tackled by Gondra. And now maybe a potential counter-attack, but there's too much on the pass. Way too much. Shun Ming him, the midfielder, who was actually the furthest man forward, but he needed to be a greyhound to catch that. Nazridinov. The 
Williams is shaken off. Really versatile midfielder, the number six. He can play either in the hole or as a holding midfielder. It's more the latter today. Five minutes gone, no score here. And a, a reasonably solid start from the uh, team from Hong Kong, which is exactly what they would have planned. Defenders just got to be careful, and in the end, a comfortable header back from Kalakovic, the Serbian. Didn't exactly call Sogdiano a young team. I mentioned uh, Hasanov, who's 39. Salamov is 36. And several other players around about 30. Hong Kong uh, base side need to clear it a bit better than that. Jurabekov, has he found room for a cross? Not really, but it hasn't been effectively cleared. Clever flick if he can get on the end of this, Jurabekov, and he can, but straight into the side netting. One of the things about Ulubek Bakayev's management of Sogdian, he, he loves players who he can utilise in different positions. Uh, Jurabekov, who just crossed that, equally adept on the left or the right. Actually filled in at uh, left back uh, a few matches earlier this season too, when they had a, an injury crisis defensively. Here's Kulmatov. Now to Bekov. Well, as expected, the men in white enjoying the uh, lion's share of the possession early on. Albeit they've yet to create a chance worthy of the name. Nice interception by Shekulov. He's got two in the middle waiting, decided he wasn't going to deliver. This is Hazanov. And again, that's where he likes to operate, wide down that left-hand side. Whistle's gone. And a yellow card too. Yeah. And the right decision, so Nazridinov gets an early caution. Well, that was always going out of play. Have to make the most of the opportunities they'll have going forward, Eastern Long Lines, because you can't imagine they're going to have too many. Clear-cut chances will be potentially like gold dust for them here. Against the more experienced, more physical side with obviously more of a pedigree. Here's Junabekov. Now they decided not to press until they get into their own half, the Eastern Long Lions players. Big playing surface here, actually, which should suit the home team. Jura back off, was taken down, and the referee's given the free kick right on the edge. And he's going for his top pocket again. And no complaints from Chun. So two bookings already. That was really a poor challenge. Well, now here is an opportunity to see if they can make their physicality count. Sotiana. Surprised I haven't got someone standing right on Yip Hong Fai, the goalkeeper. It's Hazanov who's going to deliver. He went for goal. You can see what he was trying to do. Just fall the goalkeeper, but he got underneath it. 
And it was so close, really, not much time to get the ball up and then down again. Taking his time, Yip Hong fight, you can't really blame him before getting that ball back into play. Just held up and defender had to just guide it back to Mitrovic. Oh, he ran into trouble there, this Nazridinov. Seemed to completely lose his concentration. His ho. And a miscontrol from Marcus Gondra. Nicely done, very clever, and it's got to cut Ramalov away here. Delivered very, very wide to Hazanov, who's cross lap penetration. Nazridinov. They do attack and break at pace, uh, Sogdiano. We saw that against Tuchan a couple of weeks ago. It's calmly done. By Shakulov. He was preaching patience to look back back there. He said, you know, we don't we're not going to score early in every game. Keep playing the way that we play and the goals will come. This is Kulmatov. Waiting on this near side is Nazridinov. <laughs> See how organised they are, uh, Eastern long lines. Two group, two backs of four there. Two holding midfielders, Pong and Ming. Might be a tough luck to break down potentially. Well, it went for the spectacular. They're appealing for handball, nothing given. And uh, no VAR in these matches. Salomov absolutely convinced it should have been a penalty. I have to say, it happened so quickly. But the appeals were instantaneous. Let's have a look. Wow. I think it would have been harsh against uh, Wu Chun Ming. He was so close to it. He's trying to throw his body to block it. May have brushed the arm, but the referee got it right. More defending here. Well, there should have been more defending to do, but it was a poor strike from Kat Ramalot. Free, just giving Yip Hogify the hurry up. <laughs> He's been a tad tardy taking these uh, goal kicks. He's trying to run the clock down a little bit. We've only played, what, a quarter of an hour or so. Well, that's a decent ball. Bertomeo's waiting in the middle. If this can be delivered, but you can't. 
Yeah, well, they're going to break quickly again because see the Eastern players trying to get back. They had uh, quite a few committed there for just about the first time. Well, saw the goalkeeper off his line, but it would have taken something quite exceptional to beat him from there. I think he just about got back anyway before uh, Chairmail's effort cleared the crossbar. Eighty-one percent possession so far for Sogdiana. No real surprise. Mission accomplished so far for Eastern in terms of not conceding early. They haven't really allowed their opponents too many sight sights of goal. Maybe now it has enough. This is Jurabekov. That match against Hujan, they attacked mainly down the left flank. So far today, it's been down this near side, the right-hand side. But they are doing a lot of chasing, Easton. They're on a very hot evening. Might catch up with them eventually, should be the goalkeepers. Easy claim for Yip Hong Fai. He's got a record number of cats for Hong Kong. No-one's got more than he has, 81 of them since uh, his debut in 2010. He's part of the furniture here, really, at Easton. He's been at the club eight years, and that's his second spell. He was here for a couple of years in 2008-9. Uh, Shakulov. <laughs> so what's that? Four times as many, roughly, nearly? Three or four times as many passes? They won't mind, though, Easton. Most important stats, the one on the top left of your screen. Oh, that just spewed off the boot of Alexander Jojo. An unnecessary corner conceded here by Easton. He had no one near him. I'm not sure if anyone gave him a shout to tell him, but it was a very hesitant first touch. So another test here for Eastern Long Lines from the corner. It is the first of the game. Delivered into a dangerous area, but no one really attacked it in white. looking for a final ball that's going to find a way through what looks like quite a well-organised Eastern Long Lines defence so far, albeit still the early stages, but they've once again forced Sogdiana back here. Pokes forward towards Hasanov. Good defending by uh, Kozubev. <laughs> so Hazanov will go long from the other side, just looking to get a flick from the likes of Kulmatov. It is in his direction. I don't think he actually touched it, though.
That's really not. Looked like a, a little shove, and in fact, the referee spotted it and he's given the free kick. Not really a difficult decision for referee uh, Alali. Here's Jura back off. Ridden off. That's nicely done, and they've managed to deliver. Defender, who was uh, Ming, just about got, got it clear. Back it comes, but neither shot nor cross, really. And uh, the flash is harmlessly wide at the Ipok Fives post. Good delivery by Kak Ramalov, though. That wasn't quite so effective. Not too much that Alexander Jojo could have done with that. There was no place on the cross. He had to make some kind of attempt to get it clear. It didn't go very far, but it didn't amount to anything either. Just starting to really take over and dominate the midfield now, Sogdiana. Question is, what can they create? Is Hazanov. That's calmly done. Nice stuff from Chung. His brother plays as a professional also in uh, China. Free kick given for the foul on Bertomeo. Rare opportunity then for Easton to get some players forward here for this free kick. I don't think there's any serious issue for Bertomeo. He's back on his feet now. So Leon Kun Chung will take. Goalkeeper thought about coming and went back, and in the end it was a free header for Gondra. And I think he should have done better, and I think he believes that also. Not convincing defending at all. Man marking him was in front of him and lost the flight of the ball completely. And if he'd gone back across the goalkeeper there, Easton could have been in business. That's a scare for Sogdiana. 24 minutes in, first genuine opportunity for the visitors. Jurabekov will take the throw for Sokdiana. 25 minutes gone here in Uzbekistan. It's nil-nil, which represents something of a triumph in itself for the men from Hong Kong. That's Ridinov. Yeah, the 
referee had a very good view of that. Appealing for the free kick, he saw nothing wrong with the challenge. Nice throw to Noronov, he just couldn't control it. Can they find the creativity to unlock this so far stubborn Eastern back four? That's an awful take the throw again on that far side. Once again, Kulmatov, the fullback's gone forward looking for the flick. It's aimed for him again. He didn't even jump, actually. Another Sogdiana ball. That's enough again. Now, this time he did get the flick, Kulmatov. But there were a posse of blue shirts just behind him. Made sure it didn't come to anything. That's a real up and under. Might be awkward, though. Defenders that all stayed back. You'd normally see come out there trying to catch opponents offside, but not on that occasion. That's a solid tackle from Nazridinov. Hasanov lurking far side. Two in the middle, including Nuranov. Appeals for handball, referee says no. have been a little bit calmed here in uh, Jizar. The team struggling to create genuine opportunities at the moment. Well, again, I think fruitless appeals for a free kick. The challenge was by Yonkun Chung, and it's left uh, Kamramalov holding his lower back. Let's have another look. Well, it was, yeah, the left knee. You see it again. Yeah. That would have hurt. A little bit frustrated so far, Ulugbek Bakayev. It's really popular here. He's been in charge for four years, approaching his uh, 100th match, the Sogdiana boss. That looks a little more suspicious than the first one. Well, they're obviously outside the box. No free kick given. The free obviously deemed it entirely accidental. Couldn't make the interception, Shakalov. And then has committed the foul. Free kick for Eastern as we go past the half hour mark here. The uh, Sogdiana Sporting Complex still goalless. Gondra will take. Not particularly accurately. It's away by Nazridinov. 
didn't have quite as much time as he thought, Salamov. And he went for the little give and go there, Hasanov. I don't think he was overly impressed with his teammate, but they have got it back, and that's a dangerous ball in, another corner. It's Gondra who put it behind. And it certainly needed dealing with. Five waiting in the penalty area for the delivery. It was towards uh, Kalakovic. Good defending by Chung. And that's straight behind for a goal kick. And a little bit of afters as well. I think it's uh, Kat Ramanov who's particularly unhappy and the referee needs a word. have to confess, I didn't see exactly what happened there. He's talking to Berta Mayo. Now they're all best of friends. Well, I honestly didn't see you know, Kat Ramanov did much wrong there. Anyhow, much to do about nothing. And towards Hasanov. Excellent challenge by Kosobayev. His uh, experience, the Tajikistani defender. Very, very useful tonight. Nice layoff. Just couldn't take it on Salamov. Berta Mayer's won another free kick. It's a savvy striker. He does draw fouls all over the pitch. He actually played for five uh, lower league teams in Spain, Bertomeo. He's 29 now and he arrived here a year ago, or in Hong Kong a year ago. And he's proved an instant hit with the Eastern fans. This is Wong Chi Ho. Sliding challenge in every sense from Jurabekov. No foul. Wong Chi Ho won it fairly. Myung Kun Chung's cross was blocked, but at least Eastern will stay down in that final third of the Sogdiana part of the pitch. Crossed in by Chung. Right underneath that, spun all the way across for a throw on the other side. Board for Nurinov, who was fouled, free kick for Sogdiana. Can they make something of this? Chances have been few and far between for the home side so far. Back for either side. Ramanov with the free kick. 
Salem love over it as well. And it's Kek Molodov who takes it, and dangerously too, and right in front of his goalkeeper. It was Jojo got it clear for the corner. I can only assume that Yip Hong Fai didn't shout. Or if he did, the defender ignored him. He literally took it out of his own keeper's gloves there. Kat Ramanov will take. It'll be the away swinger from this near side unless it goes short, which it doesn't. Dangerous delivery off the post. Inside of the post as well. That's a let off for Easton. Still, the danger is not over. It's not a bad cross. And they can't get it properly clear. Miscued effort by Judah Beckoff. Finally, the crowd is something to get excited about. Although their team were denied by the frame of the goal. Battling away a Shakulok. Finally, Easton can clear. Hasanov. All about crossing from distance, then realised he wanted to get to the byline. Stayed in play, I thought he might have overrun that. Salomov. Initially thought about the shot. Here's Chermel. Salomov again. They've realised, uh, Sonkiano, they need to inject a, a little bit more momentum when they go forward. It's all been a little staccato so far and that's made it much more comfortable for Eastern Long Lions to defend. That looked like it might have been a shove but no complaints from Noronov. Just a little bit scrappier, I think, than Ulrich Parkhev would like. Sure, he'd want his team to be just a little more purposeful when they do come forward. That's the chance they've made from that uh, set piece against the post. Headed away by Gondra, who's been a tower of strength so far. That centre half roll. Now there's some space here for Wong Chi Ho to run into. He does have two waiting in the penalty area, it's not a bad delivery. And on the turn, the shot was half blocked. Shun Ming Him's effort. And the whistle had already gone, it will be a corner kick. Just occasionally, Eastern Long Lions showing they can potentially be a threat. Shot actually deflected off Kolakovic. The keeper should have gathered it, but it was beyond the dead ball line for a corner. He made a meal of that, Mitrovic. A little bit fortunate. If that had stayed in play, it would have been trouble. As it is, they've got a corner to defend. Bertomeo's the main target. Keeper's come and got a half decent punch to it. Only foul at the edge of the penalty area though to Wu Chung Ming, who made Mitrovic make the save, albeit a pretty comfortable one. I don't think the crowd would be too impressed with uh, aimless balls forward like that, although once again a needless throw conceded. That was the punch, and that's a shot from Wu Chun Ming, which comfortably held by Mitrovic. That's Ridinov. Didn't get any kind of power into the shot, miscued it really. Jura Bekov. And now the time and room to cross. That wasn't the most convincing of headers either, and cleared away by Jojo. That 
that time it was Kozubayev in the way. Follow-up shot was deflected. I'm not sure who got the last touch. Everyone's appealing. The referee's given a corner. Oh, now he's changed his mind. <laughs> That was the chance against the post. I think it was Kak Ramalov's effort. Very unfortunate for him. Easton still on terms with three and a half minutes to go in the first half, plus whatever is going to be added on. It's a scrappy piece of defending. Shouldn't volleyed it against his own player. Gave possession. Straight back to Sotiana. I always think that stat never tells you a great deal. It's a free kick here for Sotiana for the foul on Kat Ramelov. It's all very well having a high passing accuracy count, but it, if the balls are pretty safe, sideways and back, doesn't really necessarily tell you a great deal. This is an opportunity, though, just before the break. There's absolutely no way that Kozibayev could ever have got the ball. And straight through his man, easiest decision for referee Alani to give the free kick. And it looks like Jurabekov, the way he was deliberately placing that, was the one who fancied it. There is a three-man free kick committee, however. Hasanov is also behind the ball. Early for the Mexican way. It is Juno Becker who strikes it and straight into the wall. Oh, I'm not sure what that was supposed to be from Chairmelt. The height of optimism, probably. Once again, though, Easton haven't got it properly clear. Another shooting chance, that was really well struck. Fizzing attempt that just cleared. Yip Hong Fai's crossbar. Excellent attempt from Kavaratov. He really struck that with some venom. Once again, encouraging uh, Yip Hong Fai to take the uh, goal kicks rather more speedily. It doesn't feel like most of those shots have been overly threatening. Here's Nazridinov. Judah Bekov. Hasanov managed to dig out across and not a bad one and that's an excellent defensive header from Gondra. He did really well there because he had two Sogdiana players for company. Had to win it and he did. Just a single minute to be uh, added on. And we're into that stoppage time now. Here's Chuk. <laughs> Blatant little nudge by Bertomeo. Although I'm not sure it was forceful enough to elicit that reaction. I'm sure he's okay, yeah. Nazarene off.
them all the way across. That attempt to get the ball over from Noronov was blocked. And the referee says that will do. A first half, to be honest, that really only came to life late on. Header against the upright. And then Kak Ramelor's effort that fizzed narrowly over the top of the Yip Hong Fai's bar. But Ulubek uh, Bakayev cutting a somewhat frustrated figure. His main man there, Hazanov, hasn't really been able to make too much of an impact on the match. Gondra has been excellent at the heart of the Eastern Long Lions back four. And the team from Hong Kong will, no question, be the happier at the interval. Half time at the Sokdiana Sporting Complex in this AFC Cup interzone playoff semi final. It's Sokdiana nil, Eastern Long Lions nil.
What a warm welcome back to the Sogdiana Sporting Complex. If you've just joined us, you've not missed a great deal, truth to tell. It remains Sogdiana nil, Eastern Long Lions nil. And few clear-cut scoring chances to tell you about in that first half. Dominated possession, 79% possession to the home team. But that doesn't always mean a great deal. The uh, men in blue have defended very solidly up to now. It doesn't appear as though there have been any changes made during the break. So where are we going there for the second half? If you have just come in, Eastern Long Lions from Hong Kong in the blue, attacking the goal away to our right. 
in this second half. They've had a couple of moments themselves, but for the most part, it's been Sogdiana on the ball, but really unable, other than the moment they hit the post from a corner, to provide any genuine threat to Yip Hong Fai in the Eastern Long Lions goal. I would imagine if the scoreline stays this way for more than 10 or 15 minutes, that Ulubek Bakayev will be looking to make some changes to his personnel. Curious, actually, what the half-time message would have been. I'm sure he would have wanted more urgency. Hasn't really been enough momentum going forward for Sogdiana. It's been too predictable, a little slow at times. And Eastern Long Lines have dealt relatively easily, in truth, with everything that Sogdiana have thrown at them so far. Good ball into the box. And not the best of headers, really, from Nuranov. That was an excellent delivery. Couldn't have asked for a better cross. It was uh, Jurabekov. Quite sure why I didn't just try and glance it. Just like he tried to loop it. But certainly that's the kind of ball that the coach would have wanted. Very testing delivery from Jurabekov. from Jojo. Actually, for once, they committed quite a few players forward there, Eastern. Hence why they were hemmed in momentarily, so Diana played their way out of trouble now. Well, he'll be delighted, I'm sure, Roberto Losada the way his team have performed so far. Came with a plan. So far, working perfectly. Sense of frustrating the hosts. Here's Chem out. Didn't see too much long ball from Santiano in the first period. Nothing wrong with going a little longer at times. Certainly their short passing game hasn't really materialised to date. Now maybe a chance to deliver again, only one in the middle. And that was uh, Oronov, who couldn't really do much with it. It was very awkward, to be fair to him almost slightly behind him. see about the way that Hazanov took that throw but they can't keep the ball <laughs> Hazanov again just hasn't looked the same player so far tonight that he did in the uh, last match against Hijad. Steadily working their way up the touchline. So Hasanov will go long again. Really had no joy at all from those long throws. 
trying to get the flick on, but just hasn't worked. Jurebek short this time to Kamramilov. Once again, they're forced back. You've got to give Easter a lot of credit for their organisation so far. Made life very difficult for the home team. Trying again now. Once again, only two in the penalty area. It was in towards Nuranov, who went down rather theatrically. Referee not interested. Had the control been better from Wong Chi Ho, there might have been a break on the far side. Here's Chemel. Zubayev's header. He's looked comfortable tonight alongside Marcus Gondra, his fellow centre half. Malakovic got there first. Oh, nice turn from Kamramalov. Now, can he find some kind of a delivery or go himself? Oh, he waited too long. In the end, had his pocket picked. And here, the howls of disappointment from the crowd they've got a man down Easton inside the penalty area and now the physio I'm sure will be allowed on to attend to Leon Kun Chun just waited and waited and waited didn't he Pat Ramelot Lovely piece of skill that preceded it. Are they going to try the long throw again? Change it up this time. Salamov. They have looked at times just devoid of ideas when they've got into the final third. Sakliana. Ricochet could have gone absolutely anywhere, flicked on by Pong. <laughs> now that will be a free kick right on the edge. Nuranov taken down. Right in front of the referee's nose. Well, this is a real opportunity. It just turned away from his man, and Wu Chun Ming had himself the wrong side. His heels fell on deaf ears. We've got two, four, five, six in the wall, and the uh, standard man behind, in case the taker decides to go low. Then we've got a couple of Sokliana players just trying to sneak on the end of it. We may well get out the way, just to obscure Yip Hong Fai's view. And we've also got two substitutions about to happen. Salamov is coming off. Vitaly Denisov is on, defender. And Abdu Jalil Manzarov is on as well. And he'll go into a more of a forward position. He's a midfielder, but he likes to get forward. Now, what can they do with the free kick? I think it was just about sneaking underneath uh, Yip Hong Fai's crossbar, so he had to make the save, albeit 
It wasn't a particularly testing one. Went for placement rather than power. That's enough. Comfortable save, really. Corner was taken very quickly, but to no avail. And it will be an eastern ball on the far side. Ball. It was well dealt with in the end by uh, Jura Bekov. First touch from Manzarov. Get the better of his opponent, though. Denisov's challenge. He actually started the last match, Denisov. I've got to say that so far, the second half has begun very much like the first half ended. Huffing and puffing, Sokdiana, but without really looking like they're going to make a breakthrough. Battle for that well has an off. He had. Uh, Two opponents for company, but they've kept it alive. Chermel in by Kamramanov. Once again, Eastern defend stoically and impressively and with real determination. Wong Chu Chun. Clear up those substitutions. Daniel Nazridinov was the other Sofiana player who came off. Possession 75% now. It was at 79 at half time. Here's Jojo. They have the confidence to uh, come out with the ball as well from deep. Into Bertomeo. That's a foul. Jurabekov. Chemel. Delve in by Kat Ramalov. All the way across to Jurabekov. For the shot first time, did uh, Shekulov. Decided he was trying to place it, really. Glide it into that top corner. Goalkeeper watching it all the way. Wouldn't really have had a moment's alarm. Shot counts rising, but not too many of them have been genuinely threatening. That's a nice turn. 
Shin Ming Hin couldn't get to it. So we've passed the hour mark here, still nil-nil. And still, Sokdiana being frustrated in front of their own fans. It's uh, Leon Chung Pong. Shipped forward by Chung. That was a shot. Chun Ming, the man penalised, free kicks off Diana. wonder if we're potentially going to get set up here for a, a smash and grab from Eastern Young Lions. They've hardly had uh, a shot in anger. The way football goes, though, would be the biggest surprise. Certainly they've succeeded in the main objective, which is to totally frustrate Sogdiana, effectively eclipse them as an attacking force so far. Standing on ceremony, uh, Leon Quinn shouldn't be that clearance. Kalakovic, rather aimlessly forward. Miss Hasanov. Just wanted too much time. Manzarov and too easy to knock off the ball, but they have won it back, and that was fair. Cross is very, very deep. It has reached Kat Ramilov. Hazanov wants to get to the byline, and all he's got is a corner. Hazanov's delivery has come a long way through. Shirobekov couldn't control it. Has to backtrack. Delivers very deep, but straining to reach that Kak Ramilov. Referee had a look, said that was a free kick. Too physical, Kak Ramilov. And once again, the pressure is relieved on Eastern Long Lions. It's a nice ball for Nuranov. Once again, you see how many blue shirts are back there. Holding firm again. Shekalov. Has enough. And off again. Chernov that's it. Well, it was a decent ball, and it was a really heavy touch from Shakulov. Got himself into a decent position there, and then rather fluffed his lines, you'd have to say. Again, confidently brought out by Gondra. Well, 
hit his own man. Whacked it straight against the uh, Wu Chun Ming. done until Victor Bertomeo was a country mile off target. He still looks the most likely though, if anyone is going to find something out of nothing for Easton, the Spaniard is the man. Kalakovic. Those passing accuracy stats have been almost unchanged since we first saw them. Flicked in by Manzarov, once again to no one in particular. And then another miscue by Shakarov. And here's Bertomeo. He's only got Ming him ahead of him. Now they can get more players forward. Got two on that uh, left-hand side, if they can play it right. Just looked like he didn't quite know what to do there, Wu Chung Ming. Good challenge. Really good challenge. That's Kormatov coming in with a tackle. Well, that was the right option for Nordov. Never going to get enough power in the shot. Did brilliantly there, Wong Chi Ho, to keep going for as long as he did. Bertomay is waiting in the middle, but might have a long and potentially fruitless wait because the ball's gone backwards again. Enough. Well, Cooper came and uh, just went back for a minute, but it's so much to do. Shocker is not enough. Too often they've had too few in the box on being asked to make something out of nothing really rather sums up the evening a lack of control lack of concentration and the crowd that arrived with so much expectation, you can see on the face of Oleg Bekbake of what he thought of it, have been pretty much quietened into submission at the moment, albeit still nil-nil. It's not like they're losing. But they just don't look like creating a telling moment. It just takes a, a second for that to change, of course. Even that short pass was inaccurate, made Chemel chase it, rather. Denisov, a bit of a hospital ball, truth to tell. Yeah. 
appeals to handball. Referee said no, he was a fair way away, to be fair, Ahmed El Ali. He struggled to give that from that distance, and he might have had his view blocked as well by the Eastern player. Hassanov. Disappointing. Picked up by Wu Chun Ming. The touch from Bertomeu was a very good one. This is Chuming him. Looks like he's going down a cold de sac, but put himself a corner. Handball appeal. Now, this would shock everyone if uh, they could make something from just their second corner of the game. Not exactly in a hurry to take it, is he? Young Kun Chun. Bertomeu trying to get as close to the goalkeeper as possible. Here's the eastern corner. I'll tell you what, they're going to have one on the far side again. That was not particularly convincing from Sogdiana. He's jogged all the way across the Kun Chun to take this corner on the far side. Bertomeu on the goal line, just behind the goalkeeper Mitrovic at the moment. Gondra is up from the back as well, he'll be a threat. As towards Bertomeu, he actually get a clean contact on it. Sogdiana may be able to break, or not with passes like that. Just give him... East and all the time in the world to get players back behind the ball. That's enough. Straight to an opponent. And Woon Cho Hee on the charge here. Exactly what the intent was to kick out Shun Ming him, and he has got it, and he's delivered, but there's no one there. It's going to float harmlessly away for a goal kick. Well, something has to give, because at the moment they're going nowhere. Sogdiana. Jura Bekov has come off to get Lusidin uh, Gafarov on. So another midfielder that likes to play just in behind the central striker. They need inspiration from somewhere. Hasanov is on the chase and he's won a corner. Start thinking now with, what, 16 minutes to go about the possibility of extra time, maybe even penalties, unless we get a breakthrough, which hasn't looked likely. Hasanov takes the corner. Easily defended by Kozubaya. Manzarov. No, Gafarov, his first touch. Couldn't beat the first defender. Thumped away unceremoniously by Gondra. Wasn't standing on ceremony with that clearance. Look as though Shakalov did too much wrong there. 
first change for Eastern Long Lions. It's going to be Wong Lu Chun coming off. And uh, Chu Wai Kwan is coming off. It's a striker. He's quick. I wonder if he's going to play up just up front alongside Bertomeo. See if they can collaborate and get a real what would be smash and grab winner for Easton. Nuranov, better ball. Streaming to get into the middle. And that really was a woeful cross. trying to urge their team forward 13 and a half minutes to go to try and find a goal that would take them through looking for the flick at the near post didn't get it but it wasn't the best clearance here's Hazanov just had to get it out of his feet looked like that was an offside and indeed it was in it but clearly the wrong side knocked on by Wong Chi Ho not particularly accurately and again, look at the bodies they got around Gafarov so quickly. Not giving Sokdian any time on the ball, try and fashion a pass that might prove their undoing. Three times as many passes, but not enough of them have been telling. Flag stayed down here, and the goalkeeper reacted quickly when it rather skewed off the boot of Gondra. Got his centre half out of trouble. Ramalov for Shakunov. Now Hazanov. Just had, hasn't had any joy taking on the fullback this evening. Saw him get to the byline with Gay Abandon a couple of weeks ago against Tujard. Only a throw. Which the Sopiana captain will take. Yeah, he's going to get the chance to deliver here. Not too much on it. Just over ten minutes to go. What can they find? and they didn't get the flick and the shot from Gafarov way way too high
given away again. This time Shakulov was the culprit. Eastern have returned the favour though. Hasanov. Just haven't really got enough bodies into the box, and the quality of the delivery has been found wanting also. Once again, a blue head got on to it first. It's uh, Kozubayev. Hasanov. Well, that found its way through. Probably shouldn't have done. Half a chance here. Brilliant save. Really good save to the Nikak Ramalov. The Yipon Fies hardly had anything to do, but he was called into action there. And that was a very smart stop. Almost with his wrong hand, actually. But he kept it out. Here's the corner, plenty of white shirts in there. Well, that's a poor effort. They're asking for a free kick, they're not going to get it. And it's a yellow card, I think, for arguing for Noronov. See the defender did anything wrong at all. So goal kick it is, just over six minutes left of normal time. Extra time looking like a near certainty at the moment. And that's one of the reasons why three shots on target between them all night so far. Has enough. Haven't been enough Sogliano players prepared to make runs, gamble a little bit. Too often the pass just hasn't really had a, an option. Now, can they deliver here? Denisov. It's a great ball, and it's in! He looked for a flag, it didn't come. And five minutes from time, Sokiana have the lead. It really didn't look like it was going to happen. It was a superb delivery for once that had pace and direction. And the header was too good for Yip Hong fight. They've been very patient, those supporters. Delivered beautifully. And Noronov's header was way too good for Yip Hong fight. From that range. It's 
Superb cross from Denison. And 85 minutes in, Sofiana have the lead, and that's what it means. It has taken its time coming. Now, is there going to be another twist? Have Eastern got anything to offer in the last few minutes? Have to gamble now, obviously. They have to push men forward, and they're going to leave gaps. Here's the goal scorer. really didn't look like they were going to break through and all of a sudden one terrific cross from Denisov one bullet header and one nil that nearly got through as well pass from Pat Ramelov three minutes to go plus stoppage time for Sogdiana to hold on I love the way that Nornov, the fir his first thought was to look across just in case he'd strayed the wrong side of the last defender, he hadn't. And Easton, who'd hardly mustered a shot in anger all night, have to find something pretty spectacular now in the little time that remains. We'll make a change. Double change by the look of it. Jojo's coming off. He'll be replaced by uh, Kang Ming. Also coming on, Yung Tung Ki, who's a, an attacking midfielder, Ken Ming's a striker. May as well go for broke. Denisov provided that superb cross for the goal. Whistle's gone, it's going to be a free kick to Sogdiana. Couple of changes about to be made by the home team, just really to run the clock down a little bit. So it might be a while before we get this free kick taken. We've played the 90 minutes. It's all a question of what the fourth official is going to add on. The goal scorer is coming off, no or not. His record for the club is excellent. 42 goals in 116 games. Pat Romanov is off as well. There's not much time left. Back in it goes and into the arms of Yip Hong Five. Four minutes to be added on. We're into those now.
And as long as Sotiana can keep it up that end of the pitch, it's not going to be a problem. Should go out for a goal kick, and it does. Well, what looked like being an incredibly frustrating evening for Sogdiana might turn out to be a hugely profitable one very shortly, if they can hold on here. We're saying pretty much all evening about the is not being penetrative enough and the players in the box not taking up good enough positions well that goal was the uh, precise opposite brilliant cross from Denisov a fine header from Noronov Hazanov saw a gap and went through it Imagine they're just going to keep it down by the corner flag here. Two minutes gone, two minutes to go. Wanted a free kick, which they're not going to get. Can Easton get it up the other end? Solid header by Chairman. Well, it's just got to go long you'd think for Easton. <laughs> Haven't really got within sight of the Sogdiana penalty area since the goal went in. <laughs> that was given away, though. We've got exactly a minute to go, they've got a free kick and they've got to launch it long and they may as well push everyone forward here. Eastern Long Lions. Shove the goalkeeper up as well, nothing to lose at this stage. Gondra's going to take it. We can be brave and win the header, there's a whole cluster of bodies. And it broke to a man in a white shirt. He went for the nutmeg. And he's got the free kick. And we've got 25 seconds left. Yellow cards out again. I don't think he's going to be too bothered by that. Crowd imploring the referee to blow his whistle. There won't be in any hurry to take this throw. Another look at the watch from Ahmed Al Ali, the QAT official, and he says, gentlemen, that will do. And a match that looked to be headed for extra time ends up in a triumph for Sogdiana, who win by a very late goal to nil, a wonderful cross from the substitute, Vitali Denisov, headed home by Shokruz Noronov. I don't know if Bakayev there can leave with a smile on his face. He cut a frustrated figure for most of the evening, but they are through Sogdiana to the interzone playoff final against either Moab Bayern or Kuala Lumpur City on October the 5th, but boy, they made hard work of it. Chakras Nuranov, the match winner. Final score here, Sotdiana 1, Eastern Long Lions near.